good because you know I'm usually I'm the one doing all of the talking now I'll get uh, Yogeshwar and sir also to do a lot of talking and uh, hopefully Mehal will have uh, a couple of questions also to ask sir but before we go into uh, more details and everything else I would like to let everybody know that if you're watching this uh, on the YouTube link that was shared with you you can also go to our Geeksy page on Facebook and see it live you can also see this on my facebook profile live <laughs> my facebook profile which is vikram parthan and if you want to do this on um, uh, gigsy on the, on the facebook gigsy page you can go to facebook.com forward slash gigsy arts and take a look somebody is already seeing this uh, there are going to be slowly people coming on board and watching this uh, in the meantime we will quickly send out other reminders to everyone about the fact that the interview is underway uh going to remind everybody right now so that we can have more and more people joining us today because this is going to be an interesting chat sir are you excited i am really excited i'm so happy to be in here vikram vikram i'm ready <laughs> absolutely sir absolutely the pleasure is mine and uh, it's Amen. great to see you here as well uh sir uh, for people who don't uh, Uh, know you for people who need to understand who you are it will be great to have an introduction from you from the horse's mouth itself but before that i will say whatever i know about sir okay uh, so sir has been a voice over artist for a really really long time how many years etc he will particularly talk about it but his knowledge is unparalleled i mean he's got a lot of people uh, you know vying up to him looking up to him to actually understand how voice over works as an art form and also use that to actually further his knowledge sir is a very very selfless very caring person very gentle person as well so from whatever i have known little of sir over the past uh, few months uh, he's made a uh, very good success out of uh, using gixi also as a platform as a voice over artist plus he also uh, you know sells a lot of uh, uh, you know shorts as well the video shorts that come in with stock footage so he sells those as well on the platform uh, sir comes with extreme industry experience and more than that he's a great human being right so uh, what i would like him to do is to quickly introduce himself from his perspective as well sir over to you thank you vikram that was a very great and a detailed introduction on myself thank you and sir people who are watching thank you people for for first time people who are watching me live vanakkam uh, namaste to all to all of fine and doing great hope you all had your vaccination done i know how it is Okay, in a nutshell, I think uh, Vikram has given you a detailed description about me. Uh, as a career, as a voice artist, how I'd been and uh, how long I'd been traveling. Like, it was all a humble start, like uh, anybody else. Like, it was in, uh, way back in two thousand mid, two thousand eight, during my late thirties, not knowing what to do when the corporate uh, recession took my job. I was really left stranded, like many others, and I was skeptical. Uh, to apply for any new job because of the bad uh, market or the bad job market which was sustaining during those times it was one day in that time like you we used to get that hello uh, pages uh, i saw an ad company and they were saying that uh, they were mentioning uh, calling for an audition with a nice caption saying that if you have a good voice drop in for a voice test uh, trust me i didn't know the word meaning of what is audition all i knew was auditorium what was audition i just searched what was audition and i said okay fine let's try to give a shot and you know what we do when we are out of job we try anything and everything and i told my family and my people saying there is something which is new which is popping up in the market and i just want to try i always had a passion in voicing like uh, i used to imagine when i see tv uh, tv voices like which comes in ads and documentaries and think what if i do them how would it sound how would it sound like and that nagio kind of ads and all stuff but i had no clue on voice all i knew was animation and uh, dubbing but which was far away from me animation squeaking voice and dubbing or you need to have a dubbing card for that well that was not my cup of tea those times like so uh, i was just just discussing on a parallel note with my family and my mother and my wife they told me that uh, you had got a good education in schooling and why don't you try and you also have a good decent voice and if something comes with voice why don't you try that that was little encouraging for me because such a new thing and such a raw thing in the market uh, which i have no clue about no training no 
lot of apprehensions, lot of doubts, and all these things. So I get crashed the industry, and I went to the chat company for the audition test, and um, and they just just gave me a paper and said that please go go through this and read it and do with some modulation. It was for the ad, I think. And uh, I did that, and uh, they said you're okay, you're fine. Can you do the ad in real time? I said okay, fine, I'll do it. They asked me to come the next day. I did. And they paid me thousand rupees for a thirty-second ad, instantly. Wow, that was amazing for me the first time. Thirty-second, you get paid thousand rupees in two thousand nine. I said, what is this? So easy, just for giving some inputs and some kind of uh, doing some voice gimmicks, you get paid, and which is more attractive. The listeners listen in such a way that they are pleased and say that this is nice. So I thought, okay, we are going to satisfy the listeners. I'm not an RJ. I'm not a mimicry artist. I'm not a tapping guy. The voice over is a big industry. I found that, and I Google searched, and I should say really thanks to Mr. Sundar Pichai, and he's my high secondary classmate in one one school I attended class, and for giving such a wonderful Google Drive engine, which has a lot of keyword inputs to explore the market, explore the all levels of uh, voice over genres, and I just. Started trying. Mr. Sundar to... Pichai, if you're listening, if you're listening, sir <laughs> has given you one credit point. Yes, please continue, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was so cool and good because the search engine, you no, know, it's the biggest tool for me. Like even today, for many youngsters and for many people for researchers, but many people Google it's a, it's a world of opportunity. And just type in any keyword and you get the details. What more you need? So I thought, try this keyword, try that keyword, find hookup companies, talk to them. Uh, by then, no, no, this kind of e-learning companies were popping up, and uh, I just get crashed with my uh, CD samples. Those those times, no pen drive, so CD samples only email. If I write email, who will reply to me? Because I'm a newbie. So I I just took the uh, details and address. And I used to get crash the companies, and with a CD, that CD would have my photo, my email ID, and some few samples. Imagine I just read content from my school. My kids' school books: chemistry, physics, English, non-detailed, this, that, and all. English, Hindi, Tamil, this kind of voice or whichever part I knew, which was comfortable for me. So that was it going, and I used to go to the company and say that I'm a budding voice artist. If there is any opportunity, please uh, uh, consider me, and he does the same. Uh, we would have vendor managers, we would have purchase managers, we have GM, so many people. Then you. Sometimes you drop in the reception and come back. And after 15 days, I'll give them a call, courtesy call, and say, "I just came there to give my voice CD, and is there any hope or scope that I can uh, come and do it?" By then, one company identified. Uh, luckily, they had a new project coming up, and they said, uh, "Please come to our studios, give an audition again, and we'll uh, take up." So I traveled all a lot, and uh, it was very nice that the company had given the opportunity, and they signed a contract on the same day. For the next one year, and it was a sale from that that place onwards. So, getting identified matters a lot. Once you're getting identified by somebody who likes your voice, from there on, it's a kickstart, which I learned it. And slowly, I started practicing other voice genres, in, like ads, documentaries, e-learnings, um, IVRs, presentations, and so many explainer videos. So these are all small, small things which you need to practice, and you have to go across the market. When you, when an artist or when a client is asking you, saying that you can you do this? Can you because you seem to know this, and why don't you do this? Because in one script, you might as well get a cartoon character. You might get a conversation. So we cannot say no to a client. See, all we have to do is a practice thing. That's all. So you get in course of time to look into a lot of opportunities and start doing them, and. Um, After that, I started branding myself through websites and established myself in social media, and registered in voice over forums, looked for opportunities, applied to requirements, participated in auditions, wrote to clients, and spoke to them, sent voice samples, negotiated pricing, and all those happens to be or happen to be even today. It is a daily routine. Um, by then, in 2019, few aspirants approached me saying that, "Sir, how to do voice over?" I'm interested. So I had tied up with some few studios and said, uh, "My people would like to have some voiceover classes, and I would like to share my knowledge with them." 
and for which the studio permitted me and we used to have a cup of tea session and uh, we used to share the studio because they are spending the whole time with me and the sound is nice came and all these things will be taken care of. and the uh, students started liking it and few who could not attend the workshop asked me sir is there anything uh, coming across online because we are somewhere else. we can't come to chennai for your uh, classes online was something which is new technically i am just behind so what was online how to do i thought just interacting with people and how do how much of time it would require for me and for the person if there is internet disconnects or uh, any other issue or power cut or data problem what do we do so then i realized that we need to make some video courses and uh, i started in 2019 with udemy that was my first online platform to start my was a video based topic wise sessions and from then on i started getting inquiry and uh, how did it happen like then i came to big c and from there on i'm right now here so getting on to online lessons with big c is even more fun because there is a lot of transparency and honesty and people are very friendly and i'm so happy that uh, last uh, 10 months i'm with big c and uh, right now I'm a mentor for so many other students span India. You know, when people are there away from India, um, Vikram, is that a detailed description about me? It's a lovely description, <laughs> and I think it's given a very good uh, understanding to everyone about how exactly you even went about your, uh, you know, yeah. voice over journey. In fact, you know, sir, a lot of people actually don't take opportunities that you know come to them. You know, and they. overthink it they sort of complicate life they just don't you know they analyze and they get into this analysis paralysis mode right most of yeah, the yeah and much. one of the great things that i learned uh, you know when you were talking about your journey today mm. was about the fact that you took opportunities that came to you right and yeah. uh, you took them you took them to the next level and this actually shows that if you go along with life's flow as much as you can great things can happen right and uh, we don't climb 10 steps at a, at a time we just uh, climb one by one no so it's absolutely. a long journey we, yeah. we we see the faith is the thing which we need to uh, basically apply to our minds and there should be no fear because i know there will be rejection because this is like any other business then people would reject your voice people would say that no no i just need a thin tone you are having a basic one uh, i need a squeaky one this is not suiting our requirement you do have all these kind of things and you need to just cross that and say that okay if 10 guys are rejecting the 11 guys waiting for me i am in that positive mode we have to be traveling and do not look back and we always be better than everybody if we we learn a lot of things we move across uh, yesterday is better than today so that's how we promote ourselves when we have to socialize we have to make friends we have to negotiate we have to be on the hunt of job so that a boys artist shines because he is a celebrity behind the mic absolutely absolutely and if there are people uh, who would love to ask questions please ask and i will showcase them at the bottom bar below and i will make sure that we uh, showcase questions for sir to respond to so a lot of these uh, uh, you know interesting features are there in these streaming tools right you can always showcase questions people can make this interactive uh, sure we are making Uh, we are mostly having a conversation and an interview here but you can always go ahead and ask us questions and i will showcase as many questions as i can here whatever comments you want to put out please go ahead and do so and i'll showcase most of the questions that you would want to ask sir uh, sir again thank you very much uh, for uh, you know talking about your detailed introduction um, in terms of just the voice over industry uh, per se uh, lots of applications right not just ads it could be Uh, movies it could be uh, radio jingles it could be a lot of different things sir what is your right. opinion about what the industry is like for uh, voice over artists and what the general uh, opportunity is like so that people who are uh, you know uh, seeing this interview can also understand if they have what it takes to make a career there okay so the industry is quite open right now because after the social media has uh, evolved itself in a more dynamic way in any place you name it you have it like anybody wants to have a voice over it could be a doctor it could be a realtor it could be a, a musician it could be it could be a playback singer it could be a animator it could be a baker anybody who wants to promote their uh, their kind of material uh, would like to have a voice over maybe they don't know how to do it or they shoot something and wait for a nice voice so that it happens on screen for marketing so that is how 
uh, people are open for the kind of uh, strategical what do you call like uh, the opportunities are available they just need a person to do it like because you have to identify who needs it you have to fish out who are your clients because the clients are available uh, not all the clients are available through facebook there are corporates there are a lot of companies who say that who also give up who also like uh, not give up like they they shoot their uh, uh, informations through uh, pop ups or in uh, emails or the, the requirements are already there they don't advertise on advertise on the paper or something but still the requirements are there when you google search you could find the company see for example explain a video company and 2d companies 3d companies animation people and uh, ad agencies lot of people they have a requirement but still that goes that goes internally like even you would have contact with sound engineers with studio people and they share contacts and one company refers you to another one because they are into forum for example i worked with one company who had a contract with me and during the end of the contract he said one of our sister concerns would like i mean would like to have your voice because we have uh, Send your samples, and probably you can talk with them so that they have your samples, and you can register with them, or maybe you can address with them for new new projects or something. And that company gets linked with you without even you knowing who they are. So that's how the the diversification and you get elevated, you get like you get promoted. The propagation happens automatically once you do something for one company, and that company promotes you to another level. and one ad is there he again says that who did this for you and he just says that this person this is number and he gives me a call mm-hmm. the best thing is you don't even see the client who are who are requiring this and who you are like they all they need is a voice which is magical which is really really good for their product they decide they decide whether you have this voice maybe a male voice or a female voice or maybe both a dual voice for this product or the real any model they decide so the opportunities are there in the market it's up to you to search find the right client and just write to them and say you are available because if you are sitting here as a voice artist nobody would know you you don't have a face value you just only have your audio you have your voice that's all a company who finds you you have to approach the company and say that i am capable of this i can do this for you So when you self market yourself and apply to companies, there are a lot of opportunities which comes in pipeline for you. It's a very very good point that you brought up, sir. In terms of self marketing, right? Uh, one of the uh, important things is to actually build a brand around yourself. And I believe you talk about this even in your video course, which is there on Geeks. Yes, right? yes, yes, very much. So could you give us, uh, you know, a quick idea about uh, some useful ways to self market yourself as a creative person? Could be a voiceover artist, but you know, of course, I think there are going to be a lot of common aspects to any creative person to actually self market themselves uh see how uh, i start i'll start from my journal like because i come from this domain uh at one point of time i found that uh, see visiting card or uh, a sample a e learning client would not like an ad uh, voice right he would understand your tone but he would say this is not what i want so you have to categorize your samples you have to have a proper professional studio recorded voice demo and that voice demo should be for one and a half minutes to two minutes that's even down the higher side until if it is one minute it's wonderful and this voice sample will have the genres which would say that this person is capable of doing a hindi one english one an ad a documentary a e learning a cartoon whatever just do for 5 to 10 seconds and clip your voice and make it as one solid voice demo that's one part to market the second one is if you have a kind of a website an identity like uh, you you showcase your brand yourself that's your uh, that's your profile you have a facebook id you have a insta likewise if you have a website that's your address that's your best tool because when somebody google searches they will say that is this person an identifiable person or maybe is a newcomer i'm not sure how long he's there who are his clients and what is this person about so when you have a website detailing yourself like right, how you started what is your place who are your clients what all you have done and on top of it if you have a youtube uh, space where you can dump in all your resources maybe you could if he's a baker or if he's a musician or if he's a cartoonist if they try to have all their um, produced or uh, whatever 
okay the output that they have created maybe a sample of it which could be dumped inside or which could be placed in youtube and facebook so all these handles will definitely uh, make you make your uh, availability even more wider because absolutely it gets hooked up it gets automatically hooked up so facebook whatsapp insta everything is interlinked you you just post one it goes to three people from three goes to six six to 12 it just magnifies it it explodes so that is how like see when i get people no i don't i don't call somebody and say that would you be interested in doing some voice service with me somebody gives me a call how did it all happen social media so you you place yourself in that media make use of it on the right time on the right reason for the right time just do it 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 creates magic for you you have n number of people from n different places to call you and ask you you have a conversation see most of the business happens across on conversation and only after that we have a meeting in voice over we really don't have meetings we just have a phone call and emails and if possible only then the client comes to studio or the client just believes that he is a professional he just hand overs everything to you you put all there is any correction he comes back to that's absolutely right. yeah arvind is saying hello by the way i think he's down hi arvind how are you can see his comment here he's saying hello to everybody hi arvind thank you the indian dm for joining us uh, <laughs> what is you here uh, so great sir i think one of the most relevant points that you picked up is to have this uh, online uh, profile going right either through a website or through social media uh, channels one of the things that i would like to bring up here is the fact that if you are on gigsy you actually don't need a site everything is available on your gigsy page in one shot so if you want to upload content if you want to talk about yourself if you want to upload video courses whatever you want to do all of those are available on gigsy in one shot so going from there sir mm-hmm. how has your experience been on gigsy in terms of uh, you know getting yeah. onboarded and you know earning money through your passion more than anything else yeah i really want to uh, talk on that topic uh, talking about gigsy see it all started 10 months back right so uh how all it happened from where did i find you i don't know gixi the word is magical like i don't know it for me like gixi what a short name and a catchy name that really attracted me to explore like i'm lucky and happy to be an early bird with this team the word gixi actually was magical to me when it all started then when i saw something like turn your passion into profit wow it triggered me to explore on the word monetization because we all know youtube other than digital kind of courses that we do uh, we know what, what was monetization about the word monetization happened to be heard only last 3 4 years and i'm here today reasoning out from where i started so basically from gixi i found that it's a user friendly interface to publish online courses not even courses it could be products it could be anything that you are talented and i have my courses both in english and tamil and apart from that as you told i have big screen bytes which is uh, digital stock packs it's all about 4k resolution video footage of various categories and the best part in gixi which i found is like it's a free to publish platform and our account is active immediately instantly the creator can access or self access anytime and the buyer can access lifetime what more and you come up with lots of uh, innovative ideas and conduct webinars uh, benefiting the creators there is a q and a session we ask a dumb doubt you brilliantly resolve it like your tech team your support your main responses are amazing guys really and gixi is fast can explain with all and i uh, really thanks for that thanks for that gixi team thank you very much sir they are very very kind uh, <laughs> thank I you i was very- really excited uh, vikram because the your first earnings these captions no we are not used to have these kind of captions your first earning <laughs> what is my first earning okay great first earning with gixi you you wrote me a mail i remember it was on september 10 and the team writes uh, a mail 20, i don't know but yes yes i don't know no no these kind of small caption words no these are phrases no it's it's having a life inside see i am a voice over guy i see life into the text every text is a life for me so i said oh so turn your a uh, passion to profit and uh, gets the word and monetization it's so honest and transparent and, and in fact i have recommended a couple of my people also when they are already here i guess and the inspiration that you guys good a very very nice and uh, i would like to say something my son lingesh doing his third year bac will soon launch his course and 
it is that kind of inspiration because he sees in and out what i do lovely so sir. he he is into 30 it is 19 years he is into 30 year br he said appa can i do something and he said he learned a software recently for architecture things and those which i don't understand and he says that i want to do this so i said come on create your passion you can monetize speak to team is here and there we can all chat and we are here to each other like we can help each other and do it and story is working on it and right now we sort of the course and it completed so that's how it is Wait, so, so nice and a, lovely we are going to see a father son duo on gixi very soon <laughs> that's going to be so cool arvind is actually bringing up a very interesting point we've been talking about uh, gixi bloom i don't know if you've been if you're able to see sir there is that you know comment section at the bottom of the screen i saw that i'm here to explore it because you yeah. add features and uh, sometimes i get uh, panic what was bloom you we had a discussion what was yeah. bloom yeah i saw yeah, the icon so in fact tell you about bloom here now that we are talking uh-huh. about it in fact gixi bloom is something that is going to help you automate all your social media posts in one click yeah right? arvind told me this yeah, yeah. so this okay. is going to be something which is going to make life easy for all creators across all sorts of genres and so what uh, you mean to say sorry to interrupt you one no, feed no, no, instead no. one feed inside is going to multiply no so let's say if you post something on gixi today it's mm-hmm. automatically going to post the same content on all other social media channels you don't have to keep duplicating effort you know you don't have to go and uh, you know t- type the same thing on facebook put mm-hmm. the same thing on twitter or put the same thing elsewhere it all does it in one shot so that's something that we are bringing and we are very excited we are in fact in the last legs of our beta testing of mm-hmm. uh, gixi bloom Uh, mm-hmm. we had a breakthrough today in terms of uh, you know solving one or two really uh, mm-hmm. buggy problems that we had with uh, the gixi bloom app and really close to uh, releasing it uh, to uh, creators within gixi so that they can start using it so mm-hmm. i would request that any creator who comes on to gixi please use gixi bloom and of course first invites are two people who are on the whatsapp gixi creator central group so if you are on the whatsapp gixi creator central group and if you've signed up as a creator on gixi you are going to get access to gixi bloom very very soon it will be available on both apple and android devices so you know we are excited about it uh, it's going to be something really cool and we hope to see it take off really well um one additional thing that uh, arvin seems to be saying which is pretty interesting is this he's saying i've also found that wearing both your maker and entrepreneur hat is critical for success as a creator being uh, a starving artist is a bad business model absolutely sir absolutely I, what do you say uh, sir uh, about this uh, 100% 100% because every day is not the same day for an artist because you would see a boom on a day you would see really a flat day you would not know one day you will be pumped up with lots of voice over job one day it will be so dry you need to balance it that's all i know i know it's very very tough because competition is there for example if arvin you me all of was artist if we three all compete and send a samples arvin gets a job and two is two are out of the job why why does it happen because the requirement is one the client needs just one and there are 10 samples which is going he he decides and he fixes it for him the best would be the worst the worst would be the best he decides for example is there a budget constraint constraint for him or if he feels that no suddenly do i don't want a male voice i just want a female voice he drops it so it's all like a topsy turvy situation and you're like a cat on the wall case you would have you would not have few clients would sign a contract with you the rest of the job you're assured three months you would do and say he says that the project is closed what would we do you really stop so that is the case happens which happens and see these are all like small things petty issues just throw them out of the way and if one is stopping the doors or closing the doors just knock the other one find Love. yourself with another one lovely advice who what's stopping you right i mean yeah you are open see i am an artist for him the requirement is over for him the project is over why would i bang my head and say that when is my next job coming from you i rather i said goodbye boss thank you so much for working with us and i just go to the next client and he says oh my god we never knew you were there please take this so such kind of red carpet welcome is also there please try to be positive in whatever we do and I I I even had another conversation the other day with Darwin also. The bad days and the bitter days of everyone and the stupid covid pandemic lockdown it it drove us crazy to the core. See we are all breadwinners on a daily basis we are all self employed we are all freelancers. What do we do? Just have faith. Don't get panicked and don't have fear at all. Tomorrow is a day. 
no regrets no expectations always let's be better than before that's all brilliant sir i mean if there is any life advice for people who are watching this interview great great life advice golden words don't forget i mean don't bother about yesterday just do what is there today always be a better version of yourself learn every day and that's something that you can really do in a beautiful manner on a daily basis be present right more than anything else be present be in the moment that is what yeah. is more important and sir, vikram this was yeah. the time that uh, the social media is opening up and we have so much of hidden things which is inside in those days last 10 years back no not even a pen drive was available nobody would uh, give a note on a facebook saying that or on a mail it will be like a gate crashing thing you know that when i just put e learning companies in chennai e learning companies in india e learning companies in bombay it will just list some five to seven big companies and by then they would already have artists how would i go gate crash and say that boss i'm here from chennai i can do a better job and maybe the rates are better or maybe my rates are low or maybe my me maybe i'm costly or they are little uh, better so all this itchy bitchy things comes in confuses like until you get a job but the day you get a job you're happy so until then just believe in yourself and do the right thing at the right time and the for the right reason it will happen be possible absolutely i think these are great uh, great pieces of advice for everybody who's not only trying to uh, you know set out uh, on their own but also trying to make a career with their own passion so great words of advice sir thank you so much a uh, couple more questions i think mostly arvind is the guy who's asking most of these questions so yes sir arvind we yeah, request most uh, request the other guys also to ask questions this is uh one of the questions that he is asked sir sometimes if you charge money uh, mm-hmm. some artists claim that you are a sell out what do you do about that uh could you please repeat the question sometimes you charge money i didn't hear the second word yeah it's right there in the caption downstairs if you can see it on the screen uh, uh yeah yeah can you see it personality plays a very important part in yeah. selling out art is that one yeah so there's something called uh, sometimes if you charge money some artists claim that you are a sell out what do you need to do about that so nothing comes free in this world and uh, we say that anything has a charge on top of it and for good will what you can do give a piece of suggestion and advice everybody has their own uh, bread to earn right so maybe we can negotiate and uh, that's important you have to sell out yourself you, maybe you can just negotiate on the a deal and say that this is what is the best that we can do and still we can take up the job but still in case you feel that that's too 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 low it's better to avoid and stay happy yeah i think a couple of things from my perspective also if you are giving a piece of yourself to someone in terms of your own uh, you know skill being shared or your own content being shared it's not uh, you know unfair to be asking people to be paying you because you are pouring in blood sweat and tears to actually make it happen exactly and because it's your time effort your quality and absolutely. your product it's it's that that creates money because why do you want to do for somebody who's going to pay you after 60 days yep. when you go there and sit and work for him and say that this is the product that i'm giving you and he he markets it he makes revenue out of it and say that uh, i'll give you on a 90 days credit or a 60 days credit it doesn't work on that way something sometime it I don't know who all started this credit period and all these things. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> really something like thirty days is fine with any business. Just we have to understand each other. We have to roll up, and money keeps coming, money keeps going out. You have overheads, you have expenses, you have so much of things which is understandable. But uh, when you do something on a goodwill or say quote low end, if you're not selling out properly, that craft goes waste because. somebody is underestimating you somebody is saying that oh this guy this person he can give it fine just do one plus one that should not be the case you have to say no when it is a no value your art say no when there is a need to say no make sure that people understand your craft and they appreciate what you're doing what you bring to Absolutely. the table yeah Perfect. that that sometimes that is what makes a difference when people understand the value that you bring to the table and you work with them and that is when they start realizing that there is something really unique and very valuable about you as an artist right and that's important what Sir, happens thank- vikram is sometimes you do it you realize that you have overdone it for peanuts because if it is not recognized for example in an artwork if it is being worked see an artist maybe he is a creator maybe he is a uh, painter or he 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 crafts it so well with so much of time and patience this back aching and this thing is painful 
he does something which is wonderful then somebody is saying that what is this i can buy only for this much it does not it doesn't mean that uh, because of the costing the product gets on a low market it's the time and effort and the quality of input that the person has shelled out has to be understood by the buyer that is what i'm trying to educate with my people also if my client is saying that no we don't have a budget i would say please make use of this resource or this money with your own people and save this money in your pocket do not hire somebody you can save this also you have 10 people in your company 100 people you audition yourself ask the person to do it for you the job gets done don't call us sir one question kekkaru parvai illaya tamil la thaan kekkaru one question சொல்லுங்க சொல்லுங்க சார் ஏன் வாய்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கு நல்லா இருக்கு எப்படி நான் என்ன சொல்றேன்னா எவ்ரிபடி ஹேஸ் அச்சாவே விக்ரம் எவ்ரிபடி காபி அமிதா பச்சன் ஒரு கமலா ஆகும் ஷாருக்கா எவ்ரி படி ஆர் டிசைன் வித் சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் யூனிக் வோக்கல் கால்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்ஸ்சர் அண்ட் டோனாலிட்டி மேட்டர்ஸ் சி தட்ஸ் வாட் ஐ செட் நோ இஃப் யூ மீ அண்ட் அரவிந்த் ஆர் எனிபடி எக்ஸ் வை ஜி அப்ளை ஃபார் அன் ஆடிஷன் வாட் இஃப் யூ கெட் இட் and if i say that uh, boss i am a voice artist he just came yesterday you gave the job to him it's not that it's that person who desires your work for him what the product would be how it's going to be listened to matters so what i say my people is everybody are unique in their own domain in their own tonality or the texture of voice you have been designed in such a way that you have a sweet tone you have a cracky tone you have a uh, melody tone you have a grumpy you have a brittle brittle cracky you know what about tone you have no you can do it you can do it because you have a market for that there are clients who needs voice artists i can't retire in one company saying that okay yogesh is my voice artist for the rest of 10 years nobody's like that one year down the line you would say boss i'm getting bored with your voice i need darwin i need vikram i need uh, uh, this that x y that's all so i'm out so my, i'm i'm staying out of my business somebody else enters into and again after two years he said uh, we have a project can you come back and do it for us in the that's how it, the industry works yeah i think negotiating the realities of uh, the industry is something that is very important in general so the fact we can in, yeah. in any business it's a real fact that i've seen it not only me everybody are in the same phase we don't see we have to have a bunch of clients ultimately absolutely sir sir towards the end of the interview now so i would like to ask a couple of very important questions one oh. is uh, would you i mean please talk about your uh, tamil and uh, english video courses that you've put up on gixi i think it's important for people to know what these video courses are about okay um for people who are looking into jump into the craft of voice over who do not know what exactly is voice over for people who feel that it's just a talking skill it is not that because when you talk uh, even a simple solapona if you are a good singer would you get a chance to sing for a film or maybe would you be called for a uh, in a in a place or an orchestra to sing a song you need a practice you need a training you need to undergo certain basic requirements to enhance modulate know the nuances and metrics in voice over industry the industry has grown in such a way that it expects the perfection which means that your voice may be good or may not be but still when you do with some perfection you can create one you can make your voice magical and for people who are looking for this kind of recession free work in the long run and where you can also be an it person or maybe you're a chartered accountant or a doctor you're a teacher whatever you are like and if you feel that you have a passion and say that this craft is going to earn money for me please set aside and start working on it because you have to know because if you are not working on your craft who will else who else would be like because when you say that i can sing you have to sing it's just like i have a swimming suit and say that i can swim it's not like that get out of the waters swim and see yourself only then swimming comes to you that is how it has to be like you have a bunch of vegetables and say that i'm going to cook a biryani for you you should know how to cook it that's how it creates that's how you have to know in the industry before getting out of the industry my simple request to new people are the search well if you find something which is good find a mentor it could be a b c find a mentor talk to them understand what are voice overs what are the different uh, variations what is modulation why do we need to modulate why e learning is different from doc
Did we lose him? I, uh... Your brain exercises. Uh, somebody spoke to me. Yeah, I think we lost you there for a couple of seconds. I think you're back now. Yeah. Oh, I, I was just saying that. Uh, uh, how are we going to market ourselves? How are we going to make ourselves available in the market? Learning the nuances and metrics of the voiceover industry. All you have to do is practice a lot. Uh, find your mentor and train yourself in such a way that whichever genre is easy for you. For some, IVR would be good. For some, it's a uh, what do you call it? Uh, e-learning, for some it's advertisements. Focus on those domains, practice well. Go to a sound studio nearby. Take a voice demo, make it professional, and uh, discuss with your people who are very genuine, who wants you to improve your voice and make a voice over you, earning out of it. So concern with them, take a feedback, be positive, and practice a lot. You can be a voice artist. Definitely you can be a voice artist because not everyone are alike. Everybody has their own potential of voicing their talent. If a client requires you, you have a chance there. You would require 10 people as an audition. If you get through, the, the, the job is yours. And from the day on, he keeps asking you to do the next project. So this is how step by step everybody does. So have faith. So find a mentor and train yourself and work on your craft. It will come for you. Sir, it's as all... part of your, sorry to interrupt, but as part of your video course purchase, they get to access you also, right? In order to get uh, mentored by you. Yeah, yeah, very much, very much. See, I have told in my video courses myself that I'm available 24 by 7. If not, I'm picking up my call. They can WhatsApp me and I'm, I can resolve any of their issues. See, all my students are there in my WhatsApp group and I, I interact with them. Hello? Yeah, yeah, go on, sir. Please. Yes. Uh, can I think uh, the power is gone here. I think. Can you? We can hear you. We can hear you. Go on, please. Okay, the video is gone? No, no. The video is on. No problem. Okay. Um, they, they are reachable. They, they can reach me anytime and uh, they can, anytime they can talk to me and they find any doubts cropping up in their mind. They are open to come to my workshop. It's absolutely transparency. Like once they log into my courses, and my number is available with them, and they can shoot me for any kind of doubts, clarifications, feedback, send uh, their uh, practiced uh, voice tone, and they can ask me any kind of doubts in between, or in between the session, if they're going through also, they can ask me whatever they need, and I'm there to reply to them. Brilliant. I'm accessible. I'm accessible. Brilliant. Brilliant. So both video courses, I, uh, there yes. are video courses available in Tamil as well as English. And yes. uh, just by paying 789 rupees all inclusive, you get access to Sir. You also get access to his video courses on Geeksy. So if you want to go and access Sir's video courses, go to geeksy.in forward slash Yogeshwaran and you will find all uh, his material and video courses right there. Uh, and we have almost come to the end of the interview, Sir. How have you, uh, have you had fun during this entire time? Really, really, thanks for having me here. I'm thank so, you so happy much. and delighted. Thank you, and, thank you uh, so much. Thank you so much. Welcome. And I thank to all my loving friends, my family, my teachers, and uh, including all my clients and my dear students. You all made this happen today. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, before we go, Nehal is going to ask a question because Nehal has been quiet all this while. She will ask a question. Nehal, okay, over to you. Yeah, so just as you said, you have been in Gixi, on Gixi for like 10 months. So what features like you would recommend other creators on Gixi that they can use and, you know, put a value to their content? Okay, nice question. Uh, okay, uh, if you are a creator, uh, which means that you have polished yourself or you have uh, grown up your skill sets in one particular domain, please try to exhibit that on Gixi. And that's a wonderful platform where you can monetize it. And um, uh, to add value to the points, uh, the make use of the uh, the platforms well because they have a subscription model. They have uh, you can also add your feeds and like uh, Vikram was saying, the Bloom one. And I myself because I stick on to my video courses and my products which are also into the uh, video streams section. So apart from video courses. Uh, maybe you have to explore more because it's a learning stage for me also. Uh, because I'm sticking, I'm sticking only on to my domain. I've not explored into, and I see creators posting their um, 
products and i just click that and see and i, I just share and i just leave it like because i myself have to explore more in pixie technically to know more about like vikram was saying i should explore bloom i should explore this up to you have peers i have not gone into sec because i thought this is my domain because video or video based sessions or video based learning is my cup of tea like so anybody who has a product other than video and if you feel that you can have some kind of information which could be monetized knowledge sharing and i find this platform is very unique and so fast and reliable which makes you monetizing i mean which makes your uh, monetization level even more better than anything else i would say and it's really an awesome monetization platform for creators so just turn your passion to profit and so uh did i answer the question nehal or should i explain? yeah 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 i think you did in fact nehal will also agree <laughs> what do you know yeah so in fact i'll quickly tell people about uh, feeds and tiers right now on instagram if you put posts or on facebook if you keep putting posts everybody who is in your network gets to mm -hmm. see your posts right whether they are text posts or audio posts or video posts but on mm -hmm. gixi you can mm -hmm. actually start a feed um, and start posting on that feed at any point in time whenever you want and uh, only people who pay you a monthly subscription fee which you set in fact that's the price that you set uh, mm -hmm. will they be able to access all the posts on your feed right so it's about setting a price for your own feed and getting people to unlock your feed by paying you a monthly subscription amount so that no content goes out for free ultimately what happens is on a monthly basis people pay you imagine if 100 people pay you 200 rupees a month you're already talking about making close to 20000 rupees a month right so that's uh, that's the power of subscriptions and uh, that's how we've integrated the uh, posts and the feed system into geeksy i i i appreciate this vikram but would my kind of video courses also get a subscription because it's interlinked with each other chapter yeah. 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 so you can you can in fact start putting out uh, individual videos sir on your feed and upload uh -huh. one video per post and make it a part of your own feed and get people to pay you a monthly subscription fee instead of paying you a one time fee right so people can okay. pay you on a monthly basis to access content and content can keep uh, you know you can keep drip feeding content over a period of time okay fine because that goes on topic based because when somebody is asking me a question and i create a video on that answering the question that becomes a module so in fact that goes in, okay exactly that right so if uh, people want to access quick question and answers from you mm -hmm. that could be a feed in fact you can say if you want to uh, get quick question and answers from me subscribe mm -hmm. to my bronze feed and you can set your bronze feed at whatever price you want and mm -hmm. you answer those questions as part of your posts on your bronze feed itself so that way it makes it very very simple so people pay you a monthly fee in order to ask you questions and you can answer them also right yeah yeah so what i thought right now what i was having in youtube is like i have an faq session in youtube which i just keep only for my students and for people having who are not able to access my course yeah just, just go ahead look into the youtube and find out all the possibilities find find please come and join with me yeah yeah so that's how i interlink with both and people who say that sir very good idea can i have, yes. can I have more questions i i can't be dumping all my videos into pc sometimes so it 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 might be even even more uh, wider so i thought that uh, anybody who wants to have uh, extra questions like you said i'd never had gone into the subscription model but i still give them as a video feed through youtube which i can link it up anytime right so that i can do yeah so then i have to keep that as private and link absolutely it up. absolutely so subscriptions are a very powerful way of actually putting out content slowly mm -hmm. over a period of time and getting people to unlock your feed so that's something that all creators are advised to do a uh, lot of people run subscriptions on gixi uh, there are artists there are illustrators there are musicians who run subscriptions and people support them on a monthly basis because they love the creator and they love the content that the creator is providing so that's something that's really cool that can be used uh, so i think we've come to the end of the interview today thank you very much yogeshwaran sir uh, thank you vanakkam nandri thank you so much for uh, coming here and um, thank you for gracing the occasion and uh, you know being gracious enough to uh, have this interview with us thank you so much thank you team thank you gixi and also in uh, platform for creators like us and thanks for having me here and it was all fun i enjoyed the conversation see you all and thank the you. people who are watching this happy voicing bye bye thank you happy voicing everyone shubharatri and have a great uh, weekend ahead see you everybody yes. bye bye see you bye bye